Francis to be more after. Yesterday, during the town hall meeting held at Mulungushi International Conference Center in Lusaka, Finance and National Planning Minister Stumbekom Sukutwani said that increasing electricity tariffs is inevitable if Zambia is to address her current power shortages. For us to attract private investment into electricity, because this world is incapable to satisfy everything, the price of electricity is to increase. The price of electricity is to increase. If we don't do that, then I'm afraid we are going to have serious shortages of electricity. This announcement is coming at a time when Zambians are enduring 12-hour load shedding, which the Jesuit Center for Theological Reflections feels is spiking the cost of living. The productivity of such medium-small enterprises is likely to be greatly disrupted, potentially driving some of them out of business. To that end, the JCTR is concerned about the consequences to low-income households whose income may be reduced as a result of disrupted productivity, further limiting the ability to protect themselves from the high cost of living. A metal fabricator who operates along Alikinkata Road in Lusaka's Kalingalinga compound is concerned about this move that it will increase the cost of doing business. If they increase electricity tariffs, it will be difficult to make ends meet as business is already slow. It will also be difficult for us to give discounts which most people ask for. Lavmo Banda adds that he will have no choice but to increase prices of his merchandise. Once they increase tariffs, I'll have no choice but to increase the prices of my products as well, taking into account the high cost of materials and just to break even. The intention to increase electricity tariffs may be justifiable, but government has a task to ensure that the impact will be mitigated as Zambians are already dealing with the high cost of living. For Diamond News, Winston Mavor.